Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shamira Benson, one part of Team Benson, and it is time to harvest some stuff because we have a lot of stuff going out here, so let's get some stuff for the week. Okay guys, so big welcome to my channel for anybody that is new. It is a pleasure having you here and big thank you to everybody that has been here. I appreciate you guys a lot. <laughs> so we have a lot of things that are going on in the garden. There's a lot of starting to get to be in between seasons. So we gotta start thinking about, okay, what's coming out and then what's staying. So let's kind of plan from there. I'm thinking, and I don't want it to make a huge, huge harvest because I don't want to have a lot of work this week, <laughs> but there are some things that kind of just need to come out so that then we can use them up and get that space ready for the next thing that needs to go in. So let's start with the one thing that is, it really needs to come out. And that is this cabbage over here. So this cabbage did not head up at all, no chance. And this one started to, but it's getting ready to open. So before I lose these cabbages, I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest them. I'm gonna harvest them all the way down until I, I see like any bugs on the leaves, which actually I don't see. So I can harvest most of these and I'm going to make either cabbage or like a lettuce, um, not lettuce, but a cabbage wrap with majority of these leaves. The rest of these leaves, I'm going to dig a hole right where these things are and put them right back into the ground to feed the, the worms down there. Okay, so not a bad start to the harvest. Now guys, I remember when I was younger and when my mom would buy cabbage for from the grocery store, we lived on military bases, so she'd go to the commissary and she would get like cabbage, but right when they were putting it out. And she would ask for all of these dark leaves that they were throwing away. And then she would mix those dark leaves with the regular like cabbage head. And one day I asked her, why does she do that? And she goes, because all of the nutrients is in the darker leaves rather than the lighter leaves, which makes sense because those ones have absorbed a lot more of like the nutrients from the soil and stuff like that. So don't throw away those darker leaves because they do give you a lot of nutrients. Our little friend is back. I swear, he only wants breakfast when I'm out here. <laughs> All right, guys, next we are going to get some of these little offshoots off of these broccolis. We are leaving the ones that have flowers, um, and I'm leaving the leaves for right now. I'm going to do a whole video about that. But yes, we're going to get all of the ones that we can, that we can still use. So I got this little cup, just dropped one, of tiny little shoots. And it's not just the tiny little shoots that let me know that this plant is done and it's time to move past it. It's something else. It's this. It's our tiny little okra that is popping up. This now needs more sun. Now, I don't see the ones popping up in between the two big plants, probably because they get less sun, but that lets me know that it is time for spring and the okra to pop up and for these to say goodbye until next winter. Look at this, guys. We have a pea over here, just to be like, here's a snack while you're out here. Now the other thing I had my eye on is my Sweet Marconi Red Pepper. This is the last one that's on here and then I'm gonna give these a little bit of a trim so that then hopefully they'll grow some more buds like our jalapeno did. Now I'm also gonna collect tomatoes everywhere. I have tomatoes there. I have some tomatoes there. Well, one tomato there. And then I also have tomatoes in here. Like you could see there's some red ones right there, but yeah, it's gonna be a digging situation. So I'm just going to collect all these tomatoes and then show you guys what I get afterwards. Okay, that was like the hunt of the black cherry tomatoes, but look at this guys. Not bad for my first harvest of black cherry tomatoes, which I didn't even think I had any. So this one is a big beefsteak, but look at how big this one is. That one's huge, this one's a black cherry tomato. Now what I do 
every time I harvest my black cherry tom tomatoes, which is what I try to do once a week, is I'll pick the ones that are turning green too and let these sit over on the countertop. These ones will sit on the countertop and turn green and these ones that are already red will go directly in the freezer. And I try and cut them versus pulling them so that then it doesn't split them open like how this one got split open because I was trying to get it from an awkward angle. <laughs> so I did pull up a little bit of the uh, Thumb Tom tomatoes. These ones just go right in the, in the, um, the freezer. I don't like the flavor of them 100%, but I do like the tartness of them when it comes to flavoring food. So I do put those directly in the freezer. This one we'll be eating because yeah, we're gonna use it for Taco Tuesday today. Look at that, it's a harvest, the first one. And we didn't think there was anything red on there, huh? <laughs> okay guys, so I'm kind of torn on what else I want to eat. So I think I'm just gonna start with this for right now. We have some tomatoes, we have some cabbage, and we have some broccoli and a pepper. Um, there's tons of other things out here in the garden, but I'm just gonna leave it out here because it's better to have it just out here in the pantry, in my garden pantry, versus having to process it when it gets in the house. And since I'm having a busy week, I think just processing these cabbage leaves are gonna be enough. We're gonna have some steak and peppers. This is our last steak and pepper day. So we're gonna have some steak and peppers with this one. I do have one more in the house. And then these tomatoes, I'm gonna to sit out these ones for fresh eating so that then they can just turn red on the countertop. The other ones are going right in the freezer. This is gonna be a Taco Tuesday. And my broccoli, I think I have enough broccoli to add with probably something else. I think we have carrots in there. I'll make like a garden roast and just put the carrots and maybe a beet or something like that. Cause I think I have one beet left in there too. So that we need to use up out of the fridge. So yeah, that's it. Got the little garden harvest. All right guys, so that's it. I hope it, that you guys are all outside growing yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. All right, bye guys.